everyone, Ren here and today I'm going to be doing my October and November book haul. At the end of October time I didn't do a book haul because I did my bookshelf tour which was almost an hour long. I thought no one's going to want to see me then talk about the books I got in October because everyone's going to be so done with me showing books. Turns out, not the case, everyone was sending me messages saying you didn't do a book haul this month. So I have a ridiculous amount of books because this is October's and November's. I cannot tell you the amount of requests for my October book haul. Apparently having the monthly is something you enjoy. So there's a lot to get through. This video is probably going to be quite lengthy and I don't know how I'll be able to pick them up afterwards. So we'll figure out what I'll do with the thumbnail. Let's get into it. Firstly, for this haul, this is a November book, but it is Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy by Cassandra Clare, Sarah Ruth Brennan, Maureen Johnson and Robin. Weiserman. I don't know if you guys have heard of it, it's kind of a really small series. It's called The Mortal Instruments, it's about these people called shadow hunters and they're... Yeah. You all know The Mortal Instruments by now, even if you haven't read it, I talk about it so much I'd be surprised if you were watching this after watching my channel and do not know what The Mortal Instruments is. This is a series of short stories that are set after the final book of the Mortal Instruments series, City of Heavenly Fire, and before the first book in the sequel series, The Dark Artifices, Lady Midnight. They focus on one of the characters and their ascension and their schooling prior to becoming a shadow hunter. If you haven't read that yet, I will not spoil who. These came out all of last year as ebooks and I did a review of one of them because it was my favourite one but I am going to do a full length review of every short story that is in this all together like I did for the Bane Chronicles. I really love that there's these little additions and these little extra bits to one of my favourite worlds of all time, The Immortal Instruments and Harry Potter are my two favourite fictional worlds. I love being in them, I love revisiting them and I love how wide and vast and detailed they are so a little bit extra detail is something that I love. Then in October time there was the Chapman Literature Festival. October time is kind of a little bit of a blur for me because it is the time when I broke my leg and I didn't do much. Like I couldn't go to work and I couldn't do much but I still went to some events at the Literature Festival and I also interviewed some authors there because that was just the case of me being dropped off doing the interview or watching the thing and then leaving it wasn't as though I was working I can um I had lots of other things that were kind of like complications of having my leg in a cast and stuff so I couldn't work and I was really bored um so I actually at the literature festival when I would see an author I would buy a book and um also I ordered all the books online uh, so we'll get through those as well but two of the people that I saw at the literature festival were some poets me and my cousin went to see some poetry be performed and it was my first ever poetry you know that I'd ever seen live and I absolutely loved it. The main person that we went to go and see was Lem Sisse and this is his new book Gold from the Stone which is a collection of poems all throughout and they are absolutely incredible. Honestly before the literature festival my cousin had sent me a link to some of his work and said what do you think about these would you like to come and see him at the literature festival so I read them and they are incredible they are some of them are very short but very much to the point and really are very impactful and really do make an impression and some of them are a little bit longer but are also absolutely fantastic and I loved hearing them be performed live and I just think he is incredible but before he went on there was another poet who I had never heard of and who I wasn't expecting to see there and that was Selena Godden. She performed first and from the opening line of the poem that she performed first she had me absolutely her poetry is incredible it is real it is what is going on in the world right now it was like laughable at the sense of how much like how she was just constantly hitting the mark like it is so relevant she talked about sort of like feminism and politics and just equality and what's going on in the world right now in the media world and how the media world reacts to things and it was amazing. Uh, so I picked up one of her books Fishing in the Aftermath set between 1994 and 2014. It's a 20 year poetry anthology which is there's lots going on in here and they are all amazing. And then in November I got The Chemist by Stephanie Meyer. If you guys have been watching me for a while you will know that I was a huge Twilight fan back in the day. Twilight got me sort of really heavily back into reading again after having 
having a massive slump after the Harry Potter and it also introduced me to lots of friends and really cool opportunities and booktubes so I'm very grateful for the Twilight series and everything that it gave me so when I heard that Stephanie Meyer was releasing a new book I wanted to check it out. This book is an adult fiction book so I was really interested to see how she would write an adult book. And this book is about a girl who used to work for the US government but very 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 few people knew this they didn't know what she was and what she was doing there and she was a very well kept secret of the government. They decide for some reason that she's actually a liability and they come after her and now she is on the run. The idea of this sounds really cool, it's definitely something that if it were a film I'd go and watch and I'm really excited to read this book. It's quite big, I know it's hardback but it's absolutely massive so I think it might be one that I embark on in January. I've got a list of books that are going to be my New Year's books so I think this is going to be one of them. And then also in October I got Paperweight by Meg Hatson. It's about a girl called Stevie who is in a treatment facility because she has an eating disorder. I think that books about mental illness are really 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 important. I made an entire video about my uh, books that I recommend that have different types of mental illness in them and why I think they're so important which I will link down below. I think that they are absolutely something that is crucial and necessary and they need to be done in the correct way and accurately show and represent what that illness can be like for people. This is a book that I've heard nothing but good things about. Everyone says the representation in it is absolutely incredible so I decided to pick it up and check it out. I haven't read it yet but I am going to very 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 soon. These next ones I'm going to go through them in one go because they were all sent to me by the same company and publisher. But my Kind of Book and Pam Macmillan sent me five arcs this month. I did an entire post about them over on my website which I will link down below if you'd like to know more about them but I'll quickly go through them here as well. The first one is Welcome to to nowhere by Elizabeth Ladd. This book is about the Syrian refugee crisis and a boy who is leaving his home and the conditions that he's been living in. I've heard lots of good things about it and if you buy the actual book when it comes out some of the money will go towards an agency helping with the refugee crisis. That is due to come out on January 12, 2017. I think it's really important to keep talking about this. People to understand what these people are going through. I think that it's just important to keep that conversation going and to do what we can to help. Just because it isn't something that's affecting us that doesn't mean we should turn a blind eye to it. Then we have A Girl Called Owl by Amy Wilson. This is about a girl who finds out that she is the daughter of Jack Frost. I think this book must be good for people that like Abby Alphonstone and Catherine Rundle. I'm really intrigued about it. I'm really looking forward to reading it. And this book is just come out on the 26th of January 2017. And then we have Heartless by Marissa Meyer which is about the Queen of Hearts from the Alice's Adventures in Wonderland book by Lewis Carroll before she was the Queen of Hearts and when she was just a girl who wanted to fall in love. I've said this before loads of times but I'll say it again. I really really love retellings and Alice in Wonderland is one of my favourite worlds and stories so I'm really looking forward to having a retelling set in that universe. It's due to come out on the 9th of February 2017 and I'd really recommend picking it up. Then we have What Light by Jay Asher. This book is already out. It came out in October this year and it is a Christmas romance and it's really good for this time of year and to just give you those little feelings that we get when we read Christmassy romance books. I don't tend to read romance books. The kind of the romance just tends to be sort of involved in sort of more heavy fantasy but for some reason this time of year it makes me want to read loads and also watch loads of like sloppy romantic films. And finally we have A Quiet Kind of Thunder by Sarah Barnyard which is due to come out on the 12th of January 2017 and this is about a girl who is a selective mute but she meets the new boy at school who is deaf and they find their own way of communicating and it is their story and what happens once they've met each other. Those are all the arcs that Pam Macmillan and my kind of book sent to me. Heartless is absolutely incredible and I'm so looking forward to reading the others. Then I also have The Diabolic by S.J. Kincaid and this book is is about Nemesis who is a diabolic and who has been built specifically to protect a galactic senator's daughter and then some circumstances arise and the only way for Nemesis to protect it is to essentially become her and to try and act human and convince people that she is her and then it's lots of things surrounding that and what goes on with that. This is going to be one of the next books that I read. I've heard so many good things about it. I first saw it advertised back at the Young Adult Literature Convention earlier this year and I really wanted to read it from the second I heard about it so I'm so excited to finally have a copy. This was in the Illumicrate November unboxing and I'm really really looking forward to reading it. And this month I got Lovesick by 
Jessie Cave, which is not a fiction book, it is a book of doodles all about love and life and like and lots of things going on. Jessie Cave, I actually had no idea that she did this. Um, she plays Lavender Brown in the Harry Potter films and I was watching Harry Potter uh, with my cousin one day and she came on, it was half the prints that we were watching. She said, yeah, she does like doodles and I was like, okay. So I checked them out and they are the most relatable things. She'll post at least one a day that I just read. I think that is my existence. <laughs> They're so good and this book is amazing and so funny. I guarantee there's at least like five pictures in this book that people can relate to. It's hilarious. Not supposed to be the best doodles but I think it actually makes them better that they're not like absolutely polished and they just it's so funny I can't recommend this book enough then also this month I got happy by Darren Brown he was also at the Chatham Literature Festival so I went to go and see him I've been a really long time fan of his and the stuff that he does I find it really interesting and I really find him talking interesting he's really intelligent and has some really good opinions and thoughts on things this book is all about happiness and what makes us happy and why we want happiness and what we do to get happiness and as someone that studied philosophy I, as A level and also as part of my degree it was really interesting to, to have more opinions and to read more and to read the different things that he'd researched and what he thinks. The talk he did was also really interesting but so is the book. I haven't finished it yet I've been reading it kind of on and off in between reading the fiction books but I it's really interesting and it's something that is just really important because it really puts into perspective what we think about things, what actually we want when we say happiness. The books are really interesting and I'm really glad that I picked it up. And then also I got the Percy Jackson series as actual physical book. I've had these on my Kindle for a couple of years now and now I have the actual physical copies. They are the old covers, the covers have now been redone. So there's Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief, Percy Jackson, Sea of Monsters, Percy Jackson and the Battle of the Labyrinth, Percy Jackson and the Last Olympian, and Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse. And for those that don't know, this series is about a boy called Percy who finds out that he is a half-blood and that he's actually the son of a Greek god and everything that could possibly come from being the son of a Greek god. They are considered a middle grade series but I think it's like the same as Harry Potter where I don't think you can ever be too old for them. They're really good, so yeah. Also this month at the Chatham Literature Festival Sarah J Mass came so I got the hardback edition of Empire of Storms which is the fifth book in the Throne of Glass series. I met Sarah J Mass at the event and she signed my book. I still haven't read it yet. Uh, I've heard so many mixed opinions about it that I'm really scared to start it and I'm really scared to read it. Still one on my TBR list but I will get there eventually and then I will I'm sure share my opinions on it. By this rate I'll have read the third quarter of Thorns and Roses book before I read Empire of Storms honestly. And then let's get to the part of the video that inspired the title of the video. So as you probably know if not where have you been in November, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, the movie came out, so so did lots of books and I went mad. So the first one that I got was The Case of Beasts, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them and this book was designed by Mina Lima who do the Harry Potter exhibit just off of Shaftesbury Avenue in London, I can't exactly remember the street they're on, uh, where the Palace Theatre is, where Cursed Child is, if you go to Stage Door they're on that road so they're really close to the Palace Theatre so it's really cool. The entire floor is the Marauders map. I did an entire vlog, me and my friend went to it so I'll link that below if you want to watch the vlog. They released this book which is Case of the Beast and it unlocks, it unlocks like a suitcase and it's got little niffler hands and then it's just got lots of things throughout it and it has things in it that you can like pull out such a nice little addition especially for someone like me who collects things and collects the Harry Potter things and likes to have those extra books and likes to have that kind of little extra bit to my collection so I love it it's so good then I also got the Fantastic Beasts and I to find them Newt Scamander movie scrapbook it's all about Newt and his life but also some of the other characters in New York at that time it also has pulling out bits I do love those they're fun um, and just so much going on. And then, of course, the book itself, Fantastic Reason Where to Find in the original screenplay. It is just a screenplay, but this screenplay was written entirely by J.K. Rowling. We ain't got no Coach Child going up in here. This, this is all Rowling. And it felt like it when I watched the film. Um, so yes, it's beautiful, it's amazing. It is just a screenplay of the film, but it's so sparkly and wonderful, and it sits on my shelf very proudly. And when you take the dress jacket off, it's a Niffler. So cute! And then finally in this one which is also relevant, the Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets hardback 
illustrated beautiful book came out in October. This was the first book I bought after I had my cast on and just sat there reading it feeling sorry for myself. It's incredible, the illustrations are amazing and beautiful and wonderful and I love them all and it's just so amazing. It's illustrated by Jim Kay and it's the entirety of the Chamber of Secrets book. I did a more in-depth flip through video down below if you would like to go and check out more of what is in it and what the book contains if you're a bit unsure whether or not to get a copy. I'm assuming that now they've done two they are going to continue with the series but if they're doing it every year it's going to take a while until I get Half Blood Prince and I want Half Blood Prince because that's my favourite one but with things like Order of the Phoenix and Goblet of the Fire those books are so big I'm wondering if they're going to split those then into two parts how long are they going to take to illustrate I'm going to freak out it's going to I'm going to be like 50 until before like the final one comes out but for now the Philosopher's Stone and Chamber of Secrets will do I will just draw over how beautiful these are but that was my October and November book haul as you can see there were a lot of books to get through I did accumulate quite a fair few in the months of October and November due to my absolute boredom of being sat by myself and just ordering books um and not being able to walk and also just, just being sent them and just festival goodness and lots of things so books they're cool have you read any of the books in this haul what are your favorite ones let me know your thoughts down below if you're new here i make bookish videos a couple of times a week so if you'd like to stick around and join us then you can do that and as usual all of my links will be in the description below so if you'd like to come hang out on your other social medias you can do that as well thank you guys for watching i hope you're doing really 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 well and i will see you next time goodbye <laughs>